Let's look at two specimens of Triceratops horridus. This one was called Triceratops elatus. The elate was used because it has such a tall parietal frill, elate meaning raised in Latin. And this specimen is a composite of six plus individuals. The arms are splayed way too far to the side. The brow horns, though, are remarkably long, and that frill is massive no matter how you look at it. The other specimen used to be called Triceratops serratus, and it was so named because the other side of the skull, the part you can't see, has some rugosities down the midline of the frill as well as to either side, which Marsh thought were unique characters. Now, the characters that Marsh used to name all of these different species of Triceratops turned out to be highly variable characters. Today, we recognize only two species, these Horridus and Prorsus. The blue circles are the serrated edges that I think he used to call this serratus. He didn't see them on his other specimens. That area tends to be much smoother. You're looking at the roof of the mouth. This is a photograph. And here you have a line drawing to show you the two teeth that he put in place, as well as the rest of the skull and what was missing and present. They also found the brain case because the other side is rotted.